although our celebration this morning happens in this small parish in Kalasyao, in Pangasinan, in the Philippines, we know in faith that what we are doing also brings blessings to Vietnam. It also brings blessings to the sisters all over the world, in many different parts of the world. This also brings blessings to the entire cosmos because the Eucharist has power to change the entire cosmos. The reason why we have gathered this morning is not that Sister Kim and Sister Bika wants to make, want to make their profession in the religious life. No. Our reason for coming here is the same reason why Sister Kim and Sister Bika are here. It is the Lord. In this Eucharist, the Lord will say to us, Yes. In this Eucharist, the Lord will promise us, I will be with you until the end of time. In this Eucharist, the Lord says to us, I love you, you are mine. What we celebrate this morning is the yes of the Lord, that perfect, loving yes of God to an imperfect, sinful world. Sister Kim and Sister Bika come to the Lord recognizing that they are sinners, that they have been touched by sin. And yet, even if they are touched by sin as we all of us are, they say to the Lord, Lord, help me to love you. I am weak. I am wretched. I am blackened by sin. But I trust, Lord, in your love. And Sister Kim and Sister Bika will say to the Lord, Yes. That is why we are here. We want to hear you say your yes to the Lord. According to the rules of the congregation, and according to canon law, you are making temporary vows. Temporary vows meaning to say, subject to time, subject to tempus, subject to the passage of time. But that is from our human perspective because God is timeless. You cannot say to God, I commit for one year or I commit for five years or even I commit for 10 or 15 years. No, because God does not know time. Time is a creation of humanity. Time is a creation of humankind. But with God, from the very beginning, His love for you, His commitment to you, has always been timeless. Even before time began, and after time has ended, He will still love you. That is the marvel of our celebration this morning. But as you say yes to the Lord, you will also imply a no. Your yes also means renunciation. Your yes also means saying no to a future family, to, a, to future children you can call your own. You are saying no to Vietnam. You are saying no to your family. But you are also saying no to the Philippines because your eye, your heart, your mind is now focused on the Lord. And everything that will stand between you and the Lord, you must be able to say no. No longer, no more, because I have committed myself to Him. You are going to say no because it is only in saying no that you can prove your fidelity to your yes. You cannot say no, you cannot say yes to the Lord and say yes to sin. You cannot say yes to the Lord and yet say yes to your personal ambitions and desires. You cannot say yes to the Lord and say yes to prosperity and wealth. You cannot say yes to the Lord and say yes to the enemy of the Lord. In every yes, 
there is a corresponding no. And you are able to prove your loving yes by your courageous and consistent no. But believe me, dear sisters, I am older than you. And I have stayed in this ministry in the church longer than you. Believe me, dear sisters, believe me. There will come a time when your yes and no will get confused. There will come a time when your, no, when your yes will be very dry. There will come a time when your no will be very limp and cold. There will come a time when you would be tempted to ask, was September 8, 2021 a mistake? There will come a time when you think your superior is stupid and you are wise. There will come a time when you will think that the sacrifices are not worth it and you deserve some comfort and convenience. There will come a time when instead of the community, you will look outside the community for friendship. It will come. There will come a time when you will look at the video of this event and you will start to cry, not because of joy, but because of pain. There will come a time when you will start to ask questions like, can I start all over again? This is too dry, this is too heavy, and the cross is too much. When that time comes, my dear sisters, when you're tempted to quit, Please come over. We can talk together. And we can talk to God together. And we together will entrust your dryness, your crisis, your darkness to the mercy of God. That is it, my dear sisters, the mercy of God. And only by His mercy can you be faithful. Only by His mercy can you be beautiful. Only by His mercy can you be good. Only by His mercy can we be holy. And only by His mercy can you live up to this commitment. Three words, my dear sisters. Your beautiful yes. Your courageous no. And in the crisis, the mercy of the Lord. May God have mercy on you. May God look kindly on you. By the mercy of the Lord and by the mercy of the church, you are now members of this congregation. And for the mercy of the Lord and for the mercy of the church, stay on and let people see you and see the mercy of God aglow in your life.